Okay, August 31st. One more day before we uh, get out chasing uh, Archer Mildew here. It's the first group trip of the year that uh, Kurt, Mark, and uh, Dale and myself are heading out. Uh, we're hoping, uh, going away a little bit later, but we're hoping to get into camp, uh, unpack. We have two truckloads of gear that we got to sort out and get ready for tomorrow, and hopefully we can have some time to shoot the bows, get them sighted in, make sure they're 10x in, and and uh, maybe a little bit of time to either do some scouting or talk some more landlords. So it's gonna be fun, can't wait. Second day of hunting, we decided that we would all meet up together. All four of us would head up on top of this big hill. We ended up calling the Coliseum. The reason we called it was that day when we got up there, it was just deer everywhere. It's pretty well like watching a movie, National Geographic of deer. And we started glassing, we we're looking around, and 12, 13 bucks running around, a few does. There's buck to door ratio was 10 to 1 and we were pretty excited we figured out that we'd go after the one that was easiest to get at pretty well best situation to stock up on it it ended up being pretty good deer Long and stinky. Long and stinky. <laughs> Long and stinky. <laughs> After we sat and watched him for a while, we kind of picked uh, picked this one deer that he was really tall from a distance. We figured it was the best chance at uh, stalking him. He was in this one lone bush that we could watch him exit at any point in time. So Dale and I left uh, Kurt and Mark back on the hill. We, we looped around and, and we knew if once we came over the hill, if, if they were still there, that deer was somewhere in that bush and we got up around and they were still up on the hill. And we kind of just were sitting there and we are just trying to try to pick it apart, see how we we're going to approach uh, hunting or stalking this deer that we knew was somewhere in there. And uh, just then we're kind of debating what we should do and this deer just pops up out of nowhere and it, it caught us off by surprise big time.
Right through, right through. You have tatted. You are. The last range of at 58, he just got so close. 30 pin right on. Oh, he ain't going far. No, that was straight too. Let's go find that arrow. Well, he came up, we were sitting and we couldn't see him for, I don't know how long we were in there. 20 minutes, if that maybe. And then uh, he just started coming right towards us and came into about 5, 15, 20 yards and laid the smack down on him, I guess. <laughs> To watch the hunt from that distance, to see the guys put on a stock like that, to have the deer come up, see the shot, see the deer go down, is a hunt that I'll always remember. Thank you. 